Mm -hmm. and uh, um, so I introduce now Rodrigo, Rafa. Uh, Rodrigo, if you want to, to put your camera on so we can see. So, hello, um, hello. so you are a physics teacher in Brazil. Hi. And uh, you are not only a physics teacher, you are also the fundator of the club, Club de Astronomia Santori de Itapitininga, if I'm correct. And, yeah. <laughs> and so you're going to present something very interesting that is the impact of this club and its social media into the community around it. So this is, you have 20 minutes for this presentation. Thank you. Thank you. Let me share the screen. Okay, you can start. You want to share the screen? I think it works. Okay. Okay. Perfect. So let's start. Uh, okay, so um, hello, my, my name is Rodrigo. I, I am the president and the founder of the Club de Astronomia Centauri de Itapetininga, or Astronomy Club Centauri of Itapetininga. And thank you for the, the, your audience. And let's start to talk a little about the social media impacts on our community, okay? And I think the, maybe you are uh, asking to me about the, what is Itapetininga. Yeah? So uh, Itapetininga, it, it is a small city in, in São Paulo, is the most rich uh, state of Brazil. And here we have uh, a map to explain. And uh, this is a city with some problems, okay? We are uh, about 200 kilometers from Sao Paulo, the most rich city in Brazil. And we, we have some things about the, the city because it's a nice city to live. We have a, a nice sky for for who wants to um, start gazing, but we had some problems. Here, we don't have planetarium, we don't have observatorium, and neither we have no university too. So it's a problem because how can uh, we uh, uh, try to, to put some some kind of content in schools, for example. So uh, we are thinking about in 10 years ago, 10 years ago, uh, uh, a little college started to, to be found in, here in Brazil, okay? And, uh, but it, it's a problem because I have just one course and it's so small. And it's, it's interesting because Itapetininga is, is also known in, in Brazil like land of schools. And this is, is interesting because, well, well was, uh, we are a land of schools, but we are not the land of education. And education is different than school. Uh, and we, we can see this kind of thing in, in Itapetininga, because uh, in school we have the the building, but not the, the the teachers training, not the planetary and museums. We have no museums here in Itapetininga too, so it's a problem to uh, to be acknowledged like a, a land of schools. Okay, in in 2010, 10 years ago. Uh, two new colleges was founded here and it started to make some change because uh, some people start to make outreach uh, research and, and bring some schools inside the college. But like I, I said in the, in the beginning, it's just two colleges, it's few courses, is about in the two colleges about, the, I don't know, five courses, uh, graduation course, so it is, is, is not so much. And 
which um, five years ago in 2015, I founded the Astronomy Club. It's the first astronomy club of region. And this is a, a very impactful because we, we are noticed in, in newspaper here and in cities nearby uh, Itapetininga. Uh, so, oh, I, I, I feel like uh, I'm, I'm creating a new NASA. Oh my God, I will launch some rocket in, in a few moments. But no, it's just a, a astronomy club. Here I, I uh, is writing, uh, city has the, the first astronomy club and here is the, a student from UFSCar, that is my university, um, uh, create um, the astronomy club. So we, we are a, a poor region for science and, um, and astronomy. And this is a problem for us. We try to change this with the astronomy club. Um, if you, you pay attention, I, I said that the astronomy just appeared in Itapetininga in the last decade. So uh, Itapetininga has about 250 years. It's, it's a long, long time. But the astronomy, uh, we have just the, the first the astronomy event here in 2017. So it is, is a, a thing to, uh, is an interesting thing because we have no astronomy in the, in, in some years ago. And to compensate, <laughs> we need to work a lot in, for a long, long time. So uh, since 2015, we have a continuous working in, with schools, with these two colleges, and with the, with the, uh, with the public to make outreach and bring astronomy to the Itapetininga. So just to introduce you to astronomy club, our astronomy club, uh, who we are. Uh, we are amateur astronomers, teachers, and students. In my case, when I started the astronomy club, I was the three things. I am amateur astronomer, I'm a teacher, uh, I am a physical teacher, and I'm uh, in, the, in the college too. So I am, uh, I was the three things. Uh, what we can do with the astronomy club? We want to popularize uh, popularize uh, astronomy, deconstruct myth, and encourage uh, astronomical observation. So this is a thing we uh, we think is important. People uh, look into the sky. This is our purpose. And uh, um, how can we we do this? This how can we achieve these uh, goals? with presentation in schools, open meetings, and observation with the public. So with this, we, we have the Astronomy Club since 2015, working hard with, the, with the, our city, with our students and teachers too. So here are just some photos about our event. We have a lot of events in some, in, in five years, so here is a big meeting in in a seat nearby here in Tapetininga. We bring a, a, about uh, 30, 300 people in the event. Here is a workshop in a school. We are invited to to present about the professional of astronomer and talk a little bit about the solar system, telescopes, NASA, and astrophotography too. We make a, a little meetings too, just for a few uh, public. And we talk about astrophysics, astrobiology, astrophotography, and etc. And of course, we try to make observations in public to bring the public with the telescopes. 
But I think do you not see the coronavirus make a pause in our, our events too, like everybody. So in March we had the problem and we needed to, to stop the event. So it's uh, hard because we have planned a lot of meetings in 2020 and we uh, need to cancel. So how can we keep working was the question in our mind in Mar about February and March when pandemic comes to Brazil. So uh, we think about this and we try to improve our social media with the, our blog and mainly the Facebook. So we focus in observational astronomy. Uh, uh, we think we could encourage people to to look this, to the sky uh, at their home, uh, their own home. So it was interesting. So we focus on observational astronomy. We had in our team physics teacher and amateur astronomers to write the blog. So for something about, um, I, I will talk about this in, in, in a few moments. But um, about the Starlink and uh, International Space Station, for example. So we have uh, uh, people to in our team to talk about this. Also, we have telescopes and cameras to record astronomical phenomena like the meteor showers and uh, conjunctions of planets, uh, moon, uh, the, the phase of moon. Um, And to help us with the visual quality, we have designers in our team too that uh, improve our activities and our publication with the visual quality. So this logo, for example, was a, a professional that made it. And we have uh, this kind of help with the posts on Facebook. We have a site and uh, uh, this is a section of our site is interesting, is the blog. Because in blog, we, we can talk about some things. For example, the constellation of, sat of satellites, of Starlink, of um, SpaceX. is an interesting case in Itapetininga because people are worsened with the lights that appear on the sky. So, we write about, and this phenomena uh, happens in uh, in May, but uh, happened uh, again in the last weekend. So it was very interesting because we have noticed this, and uh, the the phenomena was repeated. We talk about some planets too, and how can you observe planets with naked eye? It's interesting because someone don't know uh, it's possible. Uh, we can uh, uh, help the people to choose some telescope to buy. In Brazil, it's a very difficult because we have uh, no uh, telescopes uh, shop and we need to buy another uh, country, but it's so expensive. So. Uh, we help, but uh, we try to tell the truth because, and for this case, in we, we talk about the observation with naked eyes. It's free, is no cost, so it is more easy. But if someone wants to buy a telescope, here is the the, the iPhone, and we have a, a partner with. Uh, with the EXO and, and NASA. So we translate the, the articles to Portuguese, our language, and, and try to, to, to put in our blog too. Here I have some posts on Facebook. We, what we do in Facebook. So we, for example, we had this post about uh, uh, conjunction 
uh, a planet conjunction. So we have Jupiter, Saturn, Mars, and have ESS too, Venus, Mercury, and the Moon. So we talk about how can you observe uh, when you you are looking and where you need to look. So we talk all about this information and put a, a link to the blog to more information. We also uh, talk about the, the ESS. We can spot in the ESS. So this is a picture that, uh, this is a Stellarium. We, uh, sorry, this is the Stellarium. Uh, we have, we, recommend the, the Stellarium to you to, to looking for the for something in the space and here is a is a photography and that i i have it, uh, yeah yes it's me uh, i have i had uh, take take to this photo it's a yes yes is a, um, a long position photography so we have this the life. Rigo, you have four minutes left. Okay, thank you. Thank you. And uh, we try to to encourage uh, some uh, the people to take some natural uh, photographs and with the, uh, the smartphone too. So this kind of photography was taken uh, with the uh, smartphone. So the stars here and we have um, um, a, the landscape here to to talk about so it's interesting because it's not just the the sky we have uh, uh, something about uh, the, the smartphone too and uh, for example the the launch of um, of of a mission to to ESS is an interesting thing to uh, interesting thing too that we are promote in our Facebook and was very English. Here I have uh, a graphic about the reach of publication in Facebook in this uh, pandemic uh, era. So uh, here is from, uh, uh, I think, uh, uh, okay, the three and four is about uh, um, March and May and go to, to June, June. So it's uh, per week. So we have an uh, uh, increase here in the, after um, April 1st. And we have uh, uh, other increase here in uh, six of, uh, July 6th. It's interesting because this is the reach is, for example, something uh, zero the publication. But the engagement was increasing after the uh, March. So, uh, have a, a great increase in, in this app. In, engagement is more interesting than the reach because it's people who really like it, the, the post. What kind of content was more interesting? Uh, we point, we have this, this, in this order, okay? So ESS, Hubble, and starting exploding. In second place, planetary aligned and, and conjunction. Third is meteor charge alert. Four is the moon phase, and five information about famous constellations like Crux, Scorpius, and Orion. Crux is a famous here in Southern Hemisphere. Here is some photos. I will try to be fast, but here is some photos that our followers in, in show for us. So here is the Starlink. Here the ESS is the great megalanic the cloud. Here is the starting to the new new eyes comet. Uh, here Venus with the players. Here is a star trail photography. Here is the center of our galaxy and the Milky Way again. So we have some photos about the, the our followers. So what we can conclude? <laughs> <laughs> so so what yeah. we so what we can uh, say about this? The social media has been important in, to bring in the public closer 
mainly in this uh, in this uh, pandemic era. So we can encourage and assist people to observe the sky from their home. Especially Facebook has promoted to be a powerful tool. And we are able to answer questions about stunning on social media. Also, to explain some phenomena observable with naked eye and demystificate some things. And uh, to finalize my presentation, maybe we can incorporate new amateur astronomers that were so important for astronomy and for astro uh, professional astronomy too. So thank you for your attention. Muito obrigado. Uh, Thank you, thank you very much, Rodrigo. It, it was very uh, convincing on how we can do stuff even when everybody's confined. I guess you, you gave a lot of hope, I guess. 